Eyes on either side of her head gives this eyelash pit viper a wide field of vision. Lash-like scales protect her eyes from pointy branches in the dense rainforest. Snakes have no eyelids. It's impossible to know if they're sleeping or just lying in wait. The viper's unblinking stare may seem ominous, but she has relatively poor vision. Snakes are best at detecting motion. They have difficulty focusing on still objects. She can understand her world better by using her tongue. Snakes use their tongues to smell. When a snake wants to investigate its surroundings, it flicks its tongue, collecting scent particles from the air. This tiny instrument is 10,000 times more sensitive than the human nose. Forked tongues allow snakes to smell in stereo, picking up different scents from different directions. As this mouse moves, it leaves behind a trail of scent particles. As scent particles are collected, the snake presses the tips of its tongue into an organ in the roof of its mouth. There, particles are identified and analyzed, translating the matrix of smells into a precise image. This allows the snake to pinpoint the location and size of its prey, even in total darkness. With such an extraordinary tracking device, snakes rarely miss. In the unforgiving desert of Arizona, a western diamondback rattlesnake must use all his senses to survive. This male has just emerged from winter hibernation and has not eaten in five months. But as a cold-blooded reptile, he needs to warm his body in the sunshine before he'll have the energy to hunt. A mouse would make a good meal. The rattlesnake's hearing won't help him locate his target. He has no external ear, nor any eardrums. Like all snakes, he is deaf to airborne sounds. Certain snakes, like this rattler, have deep pits beneath their eyes. These pits are lined with heat-sensitive cells that can detect a temperature change as little as two thousandths of a degree Fahrenheit. This thermal image represents what the snake senses. Warm-blooded creatures make easy targets even on the darkest of nights. Keep his distance, and the unsuspecting mouse is safe. Step any closer, and he'll be in striking range of a heat-seeking missile.
The strike is so quick that the mouse doesn't know what hit it. Though the rattlesnake can it will take several days for the snake to fully digest his meal. Then he will be back on the move, sliding over the rocky landscape with ease. Snake in motion is a thing of wonder, a limbless body surging with power and agility. Without arms or legs, snakes have adapted to a wider range of environments than any other species on the planet. The most common way for a snake to move is the serpentine method, in which the body follows a series of S-curves. The snake uses the lower back edges of its body to push off against any roughness on the ground. are the most flexible creatures in the world. There are few obstacles they can't navigate, few hiding places they can't wriggle into. Mounted on the back of a Cape Cobra shows how the snake undulates through its domain. It's a way of moving that has taken millions of years to perfect. Snakes are believed to have evolved from prehistoric lizards at least a hundred million years ago. Theory has it that these ancient reptiles sought safety by burrowing in the soil. This effective technique allows sidewinders to cover large distances and climb the world's largest sand dunes 1,000 feet high. Snakes move most elegantly in water. The Cape Cobra, like many snakes, flourishes near human beings. In South Africa, they are often found in ponds and pools where they can show off their graceful swimming skills. Using serpentine motion, the cobra's body sweeps from side to side. She slices through the swimming pool unnoticed.
Some species spend their whole lives in the water. In the Amazon rainforest, this green anaconda makes his home in river shallows. He can remain completely submerged for 10 minutes. Reaching weights of over 500 pounds, anacondas are the heaviest snakes in the world. They can grow up to 30 feet in length, 3 feet in girth. Despite his bulk, the anaconda is an agile swimmer. Buoyed by the water, he moves in a serpentine pattern. On land, the anaconda and other big-bodied snakes, like this puff adder, are too thick for serpentine curves. Instead, they move in a straight path, using their belly scales like bulldozer treads. Seen from underneath, the belly skin contacts the ground in waves, inching the body forwards, much like a caterpillar. A snake-mounted camera shows the puff adder's remarkable control and smooth pace. The caterpillar motion helps the adder make a stealthy approach before ambushing its prey. This 12-foot bushmaster also uses the caterpillar motion to slink through the South American jungle. He is the deadliest snake on the continent. Antidote to his venom is unreliable and hard to come by. These caterpillar movers have a triangular-shaped body with a wide, flat belly that hugs the ground. When he has chosen the position for his ambush, the bushmaster curls up at the base of a tree 